This week before we start moving stone, we need to get our new pump going so that watering the grass, clover and garden isn't such a cumbersome task. We are still waiting to hear about our permit to build, but there is quite a bit to do first before we're ready to start building anyway. I have a sneaking suspicion as soon as we're ready, we'll be able to start. Attached. Watch these tough hands stuff in that's fitting. Um, any plumbers out there, don't judge. I know this is not the right way to connect PEX. I don't care. We might do our house with PEX pipe, and at which point I will buy a proper kit, crimper, and all that fun stuff. But for now, um, just heat it up, push the fitting in, and I'm just using a ring clamp and just tightening the ring clamp. There. I think on the intake side it's not under a ton of pressure so I don't think it's quite as critical I say on the output side where it is you know the pump is creating pressure within the hose and it's more likely to leak this is just sucking in water and before I connect that and I'll just bring this over so do the same thing over here this is my bum town it's a half inch um, what do they call it stop valve check valve so the idea if you look inside a little spring so when you put this under pressure it will suck that little spring uh, controlled flap in and then that allows water to come in and then when you stop the pressure or turn the pump off and the pressure becomes static inside the spring then returns to its closed position so this essentially allows the pump to pull water in to prime itself because it's a self priming pump but then it will hold the water in the pipe so that it's not starting from scratch because the idea is this pump has six feet uh, of vertical priming capability and it's about six feet to the surface of the water so we're already pushing its vertical priming potential um, it's capable of 30 feet of horizontal priming um, I cut this just to be on the safe side to 25 feet. And the idea is I will initially prime it in a bucket just on flat ground so that we're not making it work hard. Once it's primed and I turn it off, then the water will be caught in the check valve. I'll make sure that it's not leaking anywhere under pressure. And then the idea is that we'll just drop some of this 25 feet down into the pump, or sorry, into the well, and draw water to the pump. And then on the other side, on this fitting, we'll... Uh, I've got a little adapter for uh, for the male end of a hose, and so we'll hook up our 150 foot or 100 foot, whatever it is, um, stretchy garden hose, and then that will be our solution. And the only other thing we have to do is bring the solar panel, the charge controller, and the car battery up to hook it up, and I'll probably go fishing around in our shipping container for a switch, because we'll need a switch to turn it on and off, and that should be it. Yep, this is my poor man's whatever they call it foot valve so again this is this is just a a check valve and some screen that I just just folded over so now I'm going to unceremoniously bum town tape it with some of this sheathing tape let's see if I can it's manage painful this to watch. You want me to help? Hold it. it's painful to experience to be honest <laughs> But we're almost there. I just need to get it around. <laughs> get it around this end first. All right. Yeah. Et voila. So the idea is that this will be, and I'll tape it one more time around the edge just so it's on the PEX too and it holds it. But the idea is that this, this will get submerged in the water. And just in case there's particulate in that in the well water, that will strain it out. But there is another filter on the pump itself that will also ensure that no particulate and garbage gets into the mechanism. So step one is to connect the battery to the charge controller. I don't know if it has fail safes to say for that. They always say to do it in that order. My understanding is perhaps without the battery connected 
when you hook up the solar cells, you've got this power going to the controller and no load for it to distribute it. And I, don't quote me on that. But my understanding is that's the order to do it in. So let's see, fit that in there. Oh. Dude. There. Oh, come on. Come on, man. That switch is wired up. Next step is to connect it to the load terminals. Millivolts. If I turn this on, 13.5 volts. There we go. So it's working now. I know there's power to it. Contact. Now we need the hose now, okay? Yeah. Alright. So, so it's gonna pump. And you can see the the, the, the hose is starting to, to see? You see the water. It's becoming less through. flaccid and more rigid. <laughs> because it's under pressure now. So this is under pressure, now I'll spray you. Awesome, awesome.
I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up, but the, uh, the clover is coming up. You can see like a, a light green blanket over the whole backyard. Very, very beginning stages. a frost warning again last night and we were worried about the apple tree and the cherry tree so we just wanted to make sure that we protected them. We did a little reading and Al um, basically decided to take an old roll of Tyvek that we had left over and make bags out of them and just kind of loosely put them around the trees. This morning we checked on them and they look great. They don't look like they have any signs of frost damage so 
pretty pumped. And not only that, the apple tree has two spots where it's starting to blossom. So uh, we're pretty excited because we were worried about them and we just want to make sure that they make it past this, you know, beginning stage of growing so that they'll become hardier and, you know, take the elements on a little bit better as they grow. So this summer is crucial and uh, looks like so far we've made it and it seems to be getting warmer and warmer from now on. So good news. <laughs> Um, we are going to be doing some more moving of the stone today. Round 500. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we, we were out of commission yesterday because we did it a little bit too long the other day. It's very satisfying and we wanted to get a ton done, but uh, our bodies paid for it. So Yeah, and I think you got it double because you did it the day before too while I was fiddle faddling with the steps and stuff. Yeah. The stepping stones. So yeah, yeah, yeah fairly broken. It is it is uh, it's suspiciously light work. Yeah. But, but It doesn't actually feel that bad at the time. No, but, but it's always like anybody that's ever gone to the gym, right? It's not the day after, it's the day after the day after. Um, so it creeps up on you. Like we are getting stronger, but uh, yeah, yeah, we're hauling stone like fools. Um, yeah, that's it today. More foundation, watering some garden, keeping it real, as yeah. kids say. In and all. Okay, hold on, hold on. All right. You're so rammy. Okay, there you go. It's right in the center. Don't move it. Okay. Just hold it. Just hold it. <laughs> oh, stop! 